I will be reading the Old Testament, Psalm 46, verses 1 through 11. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her break a day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolation he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease in the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his holy word. Good morning. I will be reading from the New Testament, Ephesians 6, chapter 10th through the 18th verse, the New International Version. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belief of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. This is the word of the Lord. May we all be blessed. From all that dwell below the sky. attitude of prayer and gratitude, through this litany, we lift our voices as one. Dear God, you know our lives have changed over the past few months in ways we would never have imagined, and it is only by your grace and mercy that we prevail. Yet in the midst of uncertainty, loneliness, sickness, and loss, even in the midst of the pandemic, help us to always remember that you are in control. This worldwide pandemic is frightening, Lord. As we continue to do what is necessary to stop the spread of the virus, help us, your people, to remain calm. Yet vigilant and keep in mind that we must dutifully wear masks and social distance in a concerted effort to end the pandemic and conquer COVID-19. We are grateful that as we strive each day to find new ways to continue to cope and prepare for the work we do in your name as you provide us with strength and courage to do so. God, in all our efforts to put our faith, hope, and love into action, help us remember your grace and faithfulness as we diligently work for racial and social justice and the care of your glorious creation, we ask that you bless and sanction the work our hands find to do. We are grateful as we walk through our collective journey 
and pray that you will lead us, guide us, and comfort us, and with each step assuring us that after the battle, we will still be standing firm, remembering that we are to put on every piece of your armor so as to resist the enemy in the time of evil. As we meet today and each time we gather to connect, plan, and do your work, we are blessed to know that you, God, are in control of every detail of our own lives. Grant us the strength to preserve, the courage to speak out, the faith to believe in you, for we are women behind the mask, prepared for action. Amen. The Gloria Patri. Welcome to Women's Day at Historic St. Paul African Methodist Episcopal Church. To our pastor, Reverend Dr. Robert A. Strode, our First Lady, Exhorter Shelby Strode, the Director of Women's Ministry, Exhorter Doris Coffey, our Women's Day Speaker, the Honorable Judge Melissa Moore Murphy, the women, all members and friends of historic St. Paul AME Church. We extend a warm shout out, a warm and a virtual smile, and happy you are with us. Today, we hope you will be inspired by our theme, Women Behind the Mask Prepared for Action. The mask we have will be trust in the Lord with all our hearts. We welcome you once, we welcome you twice, we welcome you, and God bless everyone. Amen. 